going on, Aquarius? Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading, or if you've donated to my page, I really do appreciate you guys. Um, if you have not liked and subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here. And uh, I appreciate the support from my channel. Um, if you need a personal reading, the information is in the box below. Um, this energy could be masculine or feminine, so place it on whatever side you need to, okay? Let's get into it. I stalk you just to see you sometimes, okay? So this is someone that is not in your energy right now, but they're trying to be. So in other words, they're not physically someone that you're looking at day to day. Um, but this is a person that's trying to keep up with you. They're pulling on your energy right now. Uh, they could be uh, checking on you uh, via various social media sites, etc. Uh, my mom does not like you and I can't go against her word, okay? This is someone who in the past... Uh, they may have talked about uh, you to their parent, okay? Like maybe something happened relationship-wise or something of that nature. And now their parent has ill regard towards you, right? So in other, if, in other uh, I can't talk, excuse me. In other words, <laughs> if this person brings you up, that person or their parent is like, what, what? I know we ain't talking about such and such. You know what I mean? Like, where'd that come from? Like, you're supposed to be done with that person type of energy. Okay? So, if someone's mother here is buttoning in. Okay? Um, but, the, but the mother is buttoning in because whoever this person is, they've talked about you to that mother energy. Okay? I'm going through an awakening. So, this person is being uh, pulled through Dark Night of the Souls right now. Um, and maybe going through some trying times. Um, and this is meant to open their eyes to a lot of different things that they need to be open to, okay? Um, I feel like someone really can't describe all of the things that they're feeling. Um, they may be going through a lot of mood swings, up, down, stuff of that nature. Um, a lot of detachments, meaning, um, you know, I'm, I'm connected today, but tomorrow you may not hear from me because I just really need to protect my energy and do what I need to do. Um, I feel like someone is going through this now. Um, I choose to reject this journey with you and uh, choose free will. So whoever this person is coming through, Aquarius, I feel like, and I'm going to give you it raw because you guys know how I roll. This is a person that thought you didn't have enough. This is a person that thought that you didn't have enough. And their mother may not have thought that you had enough either. Okay, for some reason, they felt like you were not a viable candidate uh, for for this person. Um, their parent did. Maybe um, you didn't make enough money. Maybe you had too many kids, something of that nature. But I'm feeling like someone's like, no, mm -mm, not that person, not that person, not that person. Okay, so as someone here goes through this awakening, um, I feel like they're getting a different understanding of things um, as per spirit, right? So this is a person that may have rejected you, Aquarius. All right. Now, Aquarius, if this is your energy, okay, um, and you did this to a person, just put the energy over there. It's okay, right? You can, my readings can go on either side, but I'm just going to give you what I see here. All right. So when it comes to this energy, this person is saying, you know what? First and foremost, you're my friend. Okay. And you're one of the best friends that I have. Um, I can't talk to everybody, okay? So this is a person that may have looked at you, Aquarius, as someone that was was uh, really close to them um, in friendship. Um, and they may want to try to remain friends. Um, however, you don't understand that they still have this regard for you um, to where they really crave um, something else or something higher than the current title that you guys are currently at. So if you're just friends, they may want to date you or they may feel like they want to be intimate with you. But this is someone that's coming through that's saying, you know what, I can't do that because my mom doesn't like them. My mom doesn't want me with them. She's going to give me shit for it, right? And this is somebody I already walked away from. Why would I go back and, and, and start something again with, with Aquarius after I already told them that I'm going to be doing something else, okay? So this is what's coming through. This person watches you because they don't want you to know that they're watching you. This person is also doing spell work too. Bottom of the deck. Okay. 
Um, this person may be doing uh, incantations or, or candle magic at nighttime, right? Creeping around at night doing this shit. Uh, I'm going to take this bottom, right? Because they feel like they want it. They, I'm going to take a couple. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to take a couple at the bottom, okay? Because Spirit is giving me these cards and I just turn them upside down and I didn't even move them around. And here they are, all right? Spirit is saying they, are, they don't want you to be in a relationship. So this energy that they're sending to you is for you uh, to not be able to connect with other people on a, on a, a deeper level, okay? Um, they want you to stay at the level that you are with the person. So in other words, as their energy is coming at you, if you're getting along with someone, if you're vibing with that person or if you care for that person, out the blue, some shit may be awkward, okay? Some awkward energy or something may not uh, connect or something may not go the way that you felt it should. And this is because this person is sending this negative energy at you. You know, you guys may know this because you're very intuitive, um, Aquarius. You may know this, okay? Also, if you have someone that's intuitive around you, you can ask them of what they see about the energy that's around you if you need help, okay? If you're not tapping in yourself, this is someone that you absolutely left alone or they left you alone. Absolutely, they packed their shit. You could have been in the same house with this person, okay? But somebody said, you know what? I'm going on about my business because this ain't for me. And now they're regretting the decision that they made regarding you. Spirit is telling me to pick one of these. <sighs> this is someone that regrets their decision. But they feel like they're between a rock and a hard place because, you know, when it's family involved or a parent, yep, they're very attracted to you. And this is why they watch you, okay? They feel like you're the bee's knees. Okay, they like how your body looks. They're very aroused when it comes to you. This is a person that may touch themselves when they think about you as well. Um, or you touch yourself when you think about this person. However, um, they feel like their current coordinates um, would not welcome you. Okay, or you feel like this about them. Okay, let's see what's going on. So we have fanciful, we have curious independent, someone moving independent at night, right? Someone creeping around, okay? Um, they out here in the night uh, uh, seeing other people, doing their, you know, just living life. What is this, Spirit? Ooh, thank you. Okay, okay, I'll take them. All right, so this is someone that had you up late at night or maybe had you in your thought process regarding them. Oh, shit. All right, so <laughs> Nine of Swords is here, Gemini energy. Yep, fear, anxiety, worry, right? Why were you going through this, right? Insomnia, right? Trying to figure out what the hell this person is. You had passed on loved ones watching over you. The devil energy, right? This is someone that could have possibly had you by the nutsack or... or, or um, had you in uh, a chokehold, okay, my loves? This is someone that controlled you for a while, okay? And the love or the care that you had for this person may have crippled you to the point where you, you were just someone that did whatever you needed to do. Very toxic environment here, okay? When you looked at them, you said, hey, this person has a potential to be someone that I can marry down the line. Like they have it and check the boxes for me. But this is a person that every time I tried to advance things or I tried to make things more solid, they was telling me to slow down, that I was moving too fast. Knight of Pentacles energy. I'm moving too fast. Earth sign, Leo. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. I don't want to commit right now. Right. I, I want to get to know you. We want to see how things work out. Right. I want to, I want to, uh, you know, I want to, um, I want to be with you. Yes. But you know, we got a lot to work on, right? This person was defensive anytime you had this conversation with them. Okay. Right. Because of, of, of this, right. This person felt like you may have been pressuring them and you didn't have the resources, uh, Aquarius to uphold a relationship, or this is how you felt with them. Death and rebirth is here. Scorpio energy. Okay. Someone said, you know what? I'm done with this. I need to release it because I need to transform. I need to um, to fix my life, okay? But this this is an ending. And someone's saying, hey, I got to release this so that I could go forward. 
right? For my highest good, since it's not going down the path I needed to go, I need to let go of the old and I need to go out here and make sure that I am uh, not resisting changes or not resisting um, having something higher in my life or someone that wants to uh, be in a relationship with me, okay? So someone walked away here, right? Someone went, packed their shit, went on about their way, and the other person was left basically to go through this rebirth period, right? New job or uh, go through the grief first, right? Then a, then a new job or new relationships, um, releasing or what have you alone, okay? Now, yep, Ten of Swords, absolutely, okay? This is Gemini energy, right? So you ended a cycle. Someone here ended the cycle with the other person um, because they said, you know, I'm just going to sever this tie. And I'm going to say goodbye because we don't want the same things, right? So since we don't want the same things, I'm just going to go on and do what I need to do. Or I'm going to choose my free will, go on out here, live my life, you know, and find what makes me happy. Ten of cups. Okay. So someone felt like um, the time with you was not giving them the emotional security, family, or love that they needed. Okay. If this was a marriage they felt like the marriage was not what they needed it to be. However, this person, after choosing their free will, they're being pulled through an awakening and their eyes are opening up and they're seeing things from a different perspective, my love. Okay, bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Why did I cut off my Aquarius? Right, this is a person that's contemplating this. Okay, look how she's thinking. Look how she's sitting there. Right, this is an air sign person. Aquarius, this is you right? Why did I cut off my Aquarius? Or this is a person coming through that cut you off. Why did I cut off my Aquarius? Right? If I wish I could go back now, I know I chose what I chose, but I wish I could fix it. I wish I could fix it. Okay? This is the energy that's coming through, right? Could be air sign or Virgo, right? I want to be blunt. I want to be honest with, with, with Aquarius. I want to tell them what it is that was, was going on, right? I have all this, this, uh, Stuff that's repressed, you know, and I got to tell them what it is. Maybe they'll listen to me. This is what's coming through. Maybe they will, right? But instead, until I can get myself back towards Aquarius, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this spell work to try and put something energetically around Aquarius so that shit just don't work out with people. Thank you. This tried to flip, but I'm going to take it, right? King of Swords, right? This is a couple. Right. This is a person that wants to be a couple with you. You guys were a couple before. I'm going to energetically. OK, I'm going to energetically. Right. Do this fucking spell work so that I can make sure that no one can bond with you and have that commitment. I don't want you to be in a, in a union. I don't want shit to work out for you. Right. I'm going to do whatever the hell I got to do to make sure that you stay detached Okay, or that awkward energy comes in when you feel like, yep, I can't make this up, my love. That awkward energy comes in to where your head is blown, where you're scratching your head about something, about a relationship. Okay, five of swords. This all air sign energy, man. Huh? Okay, five of swords. Okay, right? Aquarius energy. Right. Yeah, I walked away from you. Right. Yeah, I surrendered to whatever it was I wanted to do. Right. But now I'm trying to fight back. Now I'm trying to bully you spiritually into not having shit the way that you need to have it or that you want to have it. Right. Because I feel like I'm going to do some greasy, grimy shit. Right. Because I didn't make the right choices or I didn't overcome the challenges that I had. Right. And could have fought harder to be with you before, okay? So you guys are knowing this. You guys are receptive and you guys deep down feel, you know, some sort of way about this person, okay? Right? Knight of Cups, right? This person may have been very romantic and even if they come in, I feel like you you went all out for this person to, to the point where you could, uh, Aquarius, okay? Knight of Cups, you try to give them everything that you possibly could give them. Right? This is water sign or Aquarius. Romance. You would do you did, you know, uh uh you thought about things, you planned things, you you invited them to things, right? This is this is 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 you um uh um um wanting to sweep this person off their feet, but now this is a person that wants to come at you and reciprocate 
what you put out before is what I'm feeling, okay? You did this first and they didn't respond or they didn't receive it or they didn't want it. But now this is a person that's saying, you know what? I'm going to throw this spell work to make sure that they don't be in the union with people. I'm going to fuck their head all up to where they can't really decide on anyone. Then I'm going to swoop in, right? And I'm going to go get what's mine, right? I'm going to romance them and sweep them off their feet, get them to where, where they want to be. And then we can be together again, right? Then we can move on with each other right both of us can do something new move on from our current situations this person is making plans aquarius right right to, to to go out and celebrate with you to have times to have good times right this person may be planning to see you while uh while you're out with friends or maybe trying to figure out how they can connect with you three of cups energy someone could have cancer in their chart or be a cancer okay <clears throat> reunion this is what this is how can i have the reunion that i would like to have with my aquarius what do i need to do right such and such is having a baby shower or there's going to be a graduation or such and such and such that's a mutual friend of ours getting married right i know that aquarius may be there that may be the time when i can freaking speak to them and maybe re-cement the bond that we had so that we can get this popping again right bottom of the deck and i'm gonna end this knight of swords here we go right knight of swords air sign or taurus right you have big changes happening in your life aquarius right okay this person is going to be trying to come in and seize the moment with you to be assertive to be direct right they may move real impulsively but they feel like they need to be focused now before somebody else, the right person that's coming towards you, Aquarius, scoops you up. Okay? So be mindful. Right? So this is the energy that's coming through. I'm sending you guys nothing but the highest love and light. You guys take care.